We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments with Jordan and Jess. I know we've all traveled a long ways to be here. Together, we have representations from two countries and seven states. Jordan and Jess know they have a dedicated group of family and friends. And for this, they thank you for joining them on such a special day. Jess, whether you are traveling, cooking, or petting cute puppies, one of your best aspects is your dedication to what you love in life. I promise to dedicate myself to you, listen to you, and grow with you for the rest of our lives. I promise to care for you by nurturing our relationship and being your partner in everything. Whether in the United States, China, or any other country we choose to travel to, I look forward to experiencing life together as one couple, as one family. I love you. Jordan, you have been my best friend. You have loved and supported me in every way possible. I promise to do the same with you, and I promise to always listen. You are the most patient and fun-loving person I have ever met, and I am so lucky to call you the love of my life. I can't wait to go on many adventures with you and have the best times of our lives. I love you.
can't even begin to tell you how happy it makes me that you two have found each other. I've known Jess um, for a few years now, um, since high school, and even through all the distance and the traveling and the back and forth, um, we kept in touch and it has only made our bond grow stronger and stronger. A few little uh, snippets that I was like saving because these are the good embarrassing things. Uh, we taught Jess how to ride a bike um, at the beach. Um, we taught her how to walk in heels. She was my date to prom, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, we taught her to walk in heels before the dance. Um, so now I think it's pretty amazing that we're here today and watching her walk down the aisle. I've already seen how well that you have treated her, Jordan, and it makes me really happy to know that someone cares um, about her just as much as, as I do. I don't recall the exact conversation, but I just remember it was one of the first times I had ever actually interacted at all with Jess. We were in the homework hotline, and Jess was doing something on her phone, you know, not entirely present with the situation and made some sort of passing comment about how attractive some guy was. Now, that kind of struck me as odd, uh, threw me off guard a little bit, and I was like, that's not something I would say with my new significant other standing right next to me. But without missing a beat, Jordan just truly and wholeheartedly agreed with her. <laughs> as if he was just thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> They were already comfortable with each other, and they were both weird. But in that good way that I mentioned earlier, um, I suppose that really I can't be shocked that they're the perfect kind of weird together. I've been friends with Jordan since second grade, and if I've learned anything, it's you need to be a little weird to be around him. In all seriousness, though, I am elated that they found each other, and even more happy that their weirds are compatible. To quote Robert Folga, we're all a little weird, and life is a little weird, and when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join together in mutually satisfying weirdness and call it love. To Jess and Jordan, may they have a lifetime full of happiness and adventure, and may they stay weird. <laughs>